hello beauties welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do a one brand makeup video I'm going to use some products that I haven't used before as you can see there's no makeup on me no eyebrows no nothing all I did was wash my face and moisturize and put a lip balm on my lips but yes we are actually going to do an elf makeup video so I'm going to use all things elf um pretty much everything on there I want to say is brand new except for the foundation and concealer those are the only two things that I did have um that we're gonna use but yeah so if you are interested in seeing what I think about these elf products that I'm going to use then just sit back and grab a bottle of water a snack and just keep on watching okay so i put my hair back because it has been crazy raining here in the area of florida that i live it's been raining for like almost a week and a half maybe two weeks today's the one day that it hasn't rained yet but it has been cloudy all day and the humidity is just ridiculous so my hair is like boom it's like super wide uh, super puffy but anyway, on to our elf products. So, for the first thing I'm going to try is this elf brow pencil. So, let's go in. It takes me a little bit to do my brows. So, let's see what I can do. And I got this one in dark brown, I want to say. I'm gonna do my other one off camera. I'll be back in a okay, So I'm back with my other brow. Not bad. Not my favorite pencil, but I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more. It's not bad. Okay, so we're gonna go in now with the brow powder. I always outline with a pencil and then I fill in with a powder, and then I usually go over it with a gel mascara. This is a gel and powder. So this is the gel, this is the powder. Um, I don't know. We're gonna let's try the gel first, just for the sake of argument, and then go from there. Let's see if I like this, and maybe I can just use this versus the pencil. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the eyes. Um, I put some concealer to act as my eyeshadow base and just blending that in and then I'm going to set it we are using the mad for matte summer breeze palette looks like this so I'm gonna take this light shade and I'm just going to set my um, my eye So, okay, set that down. Now we're gonna go in with, hmm, I'm gonna start out with this color. I always go for the peachy colors, so I'm gonna go with this color. And we're gonna buff that into my crease. There's a lot of fallout. These have a lot of fallout. Um. And we are using all e.l.f. products. So this is an e.l.f. blending brush. So everything I'm using is e.l.f. I'm just going to do a quick look. I'm not going to go crazy. Oops. Mm. 
And these are very buildable um, eyeshadows, as I can see. You can see that I'm really buffing that into my crease. It's got a nice peachy tone. The brush is not as fluffy as I would like it to be. I mean, I just opened it out of the packaging, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so we're gonna go into that deeper shade right here. So I'm actually going to put that next color in my crease. I'm just building the color. Now I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. And I'm guessing this is just like a crease brush. But I really want to put this golden color um, up above. And I should have started with that color first, but whatever. We shall figure it out. With this same brush, I'm going to go into this deeper color right here, and we're just going to focus that on the outer V. Now, for all over the lid, I think I'm just gonna go in with this regular alpha. I'm just gonna go in with that really light shade again and I'm just gonna put that like all over my lid. I'm gonna really pack it on. And with the same brush, I'm actually going to use that same color and I'm just going to put it on my brow bone. I'll take it in here. Just to open up the eye a little. Okay, I'm going to take with this C brush, I'm gonna go in with the black color that we have in here. And just gonna go lightly on the end to give it a little bit of a definition. Just lightly. So I'm gonna lightly go over it with this uh, this pinky color. Excuse me, this pinky color. And I'm just going to buff out some of those harsh lines really lightly. That's going to be our eye look. We're just going to go with it. Um, I like it. I like the way that they blend. They're blendable. I totally dig it. We're going to go back and do our um, under eye in a little bit. Let's get the foundation, concealer, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go in with the poreless face primer. And now it's going to get pretty quick. It smells good. It's super soft. I'm just going to clean up under the eye. 
make it like a more cat eye effect I was gonna just smoke it out but we're gonna use some liner and stuff so okay all right now I'm using the elf HD um, their HD foundation and this is in the color buff and it's oil free good because I have oily skin and then it has a SPF of 15 although there's no there is no sun today I think this is just a little bit too dark for me but we're just gonna go with it this is probably like oh yeah my my tan color like summer uh -huh. that's cool and this is like a medium coverage it's buildable to like a full coverage I want to say This was actually like the first foundation I ever bought. And it's not a bad foundation. I think this foundation is $6. I want to use their Beautifully Bare foundation. And that one's $8. I haven't had a chance to buy it. I should have bought it, but I'll try. I am going to do an extra pump just to give it to full coverage. And I always apply my foundation with a beauty blender. I do want to try to apply my foundation with a brush soon. I will do that um, for you guys and see. I don't know. It feels funny. I'm so used to doing it this way that it would feel funny for me to do it any other way. But I want to try. I want to see what the hoopla is a lot of my friends are like you use a sponge i use a brush well this is what i'm comfortable with this is how i started my makeup journey so i don't know what we're gonna try i feel like with a brush it would be like so much product i don't know i feel like the sponge soaks some of the product up does that make sense i don't know whatever so next we're going to do some concealer and I am going to use um, the HD, the e.l.f. HD Light Concealer. Okay. This used to be my favorite concealer, but Ever since I have discovered the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, that has absolutely become my favorite concealer, like affordable concealer. I love the Tarte Shape Tape, but that is expensive. So, you know, I have to find alternatives. And I actually like the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. That one is really good. All right, my little sponge and let us go to town. Okay, we're going to set our under eyes with the um, translucent powder. Came with like a little powder puff, but I'm gonna use these things. Ooh. I'm 
This is turned dial and peel off. Ooh. Oh, I like this. And this is in the color Sheer. I'm taking the e.l.f. tapered brush and I'm going to hurry up and set my under eyes so that it doesn't crease. This powder is really, really fine. It's like, it feels like nothing. Like I'm not even using any powder. Just crazy. Okay, I get it. So I'm just going to, with this little brush, just everywhere I highlighted with the concealer, I'm just going to set. Um, I don't know if I wanna really set my face completely. Maybe I will. I'm going to use the Elf Complexion Brush just with whatever is here in my cap. Uh, I'm just going to lightly just dust it on my, on my face a little. Just because, like I tell you, I have very oily skin. Uh, moving on, we are going to now do, we're going to finish off our eyes. I totally forgot to put liner on, so we're going to go in with that black liner that i bought the duo with the liner and the eyeshadow and i'm just going to tight line and do my waterline with it i poked myself my eyes are water my eyes are watering a little Actually, no, we're gonna go in with liquid liner. I forgot about this because now it's getting down to the nitty gritty and I gotta go to work. So, we're gonna do a small wing liner just to test this out. You guys know that I suck at eyeliner. Okay, so I have my wing liner on. I'm not a fan of the liquid liner brush. It's not as thin as I thought it was gonna be, so it made my inner corners pretty thick. Uh, I'm just not a fan of it right now. I'm gonna throw on some mascara because we are gonna attempt to do lashes. I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara. I wanted to show you before I put my lashes on. This is how the lashes come. It comes with like a little tweezer and then these are the lashes. This is the Lux Lash Kit in winged and bold. So we're going to try these on. Okay, so I'm back and I smoked my bottom lash line out and I have my lashes on. I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of mascara just to mesh both of them together. And I really like these lashes. They're nice and flirty. And they're beautiful. I I love them. They're, they're really pretty. And I'm actually, I didn't get to use the liquid eyeshadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, this is the color Nude Linen. And I'm just going to put it right on top here in the inner corner area to see if maybe that kind of lightens everything up. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my entire look. I'm just taking a little bit and just maybe brightening it just a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with my brush. Oh, 
wrong brush. All right, so now let's finish up the face. I am going to go in with that blush and contour duo um, in the color Fiji. And I'm going to take this stippling brush. I'm just gonna dip that in there. I know stippling brushes tend to be a little harsh, but we're gonna do a little bit of a contour. Just right here. It's a cooler, it's a very cool toned contour. I like this brush. There is a lot of fallout, so you want to really be careful with that. I'm just going to bronze up a little bit here and here. I'm just bronze my neck a little. Mm, I don't know if I'm a fan of this brush, but whatever. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with this blush here. Mm, blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. When in doubt, blend it out. <laughs> okay. Somewhat even. All right. And I am going to go in with a highlighter. And. I don't have a highlighter separate from here and before we highlight I'm just going to use the face palette I'm going to go in with the elf lip plumper and I always like to put the plumper on before I highlight so it gives it time to plump my lips up and this is not a elf brush but I'm gonna use it for highlight I'm gonna go into this quad I'm gonna take the highlight right there and I'm just gonna highlight mm, I'm not such a fan of this highlight I feel like it just sits on my skin. It's not really, I don't know. And now for setting spray before we put our lips on. And this is just the A Makeup Mist and Set. Just, this is the setting spray that they have. So I'm gonna use that. so weird the way that it sprays it sprays like so much I'm use my little fan I feel like I have so much it's gonna melt into my skin I just sprayed my I made my whole forehead wet let me see if I can dab some of it off sheesh wasn't spraying and then all of a sudden I was like Pow! right in my freaking face so for lips we have a couple of options I have the plum or scarlet night uh, pencil or jumbo pencil lip pencil then I have also the nearly nude jumbo pencil then i have the pink cosmo plumping lip gloss i also have the natural 
lip liner. And then I have this Touch of Berry Sheer lip color. And honestly, any of them would look good. So what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna line my lips with this little, with this Jumbo Pencil in Scarlet Night. And then I'm gonna go over it with that Touch of Berry lip. Just to give it a little bit of moisture. So at the end of the night, I will let you know how everything wore, how I liked everything, and I will give you a review. That's it for right now. I'm going to go finish getting ready to go to work and I will see you guys in a few hours. Hi everybody, so it is the end of the night and I'm here to give you my review on the e.l.f. products. Um, I actually am going to go really rather quickly through this. So let's start out with the um, brow products so the brow products I really like the compact a lot I'm gonna try to work with it on its own to see how it is this is okay you know like if I don't have another pencil then I'll go for this it's not bad but it's not the greatest but for the price I mean I bought it for like maybe a buck two bucks not bad next for the eyeshadow palette I really like these eyeshadows a lot I got look at them I got so many compliments on my eye look it is incredible I I I recommend this brand for if you're starting out with makeup they're affordable and they have really good quality eyeshadows I like this a lot now for the primer the primer did a really good job of blurring out my pores that i have over here so i like it i'm going to play around with it some more with different foundation um it's not bad but it's good i have other ones that are a little bit better but not bad for the price um foundation and concealer um i haven't used this elf foundation in a really long time it is buildable but I'm not fond of the way, you know, over here it's making, you can see that I have makeup on. I have a lot more um, different foundations that are a little bit better. And this one is buildable, so it does look like a little cakey on some areas because you want, if you want it to be full coverage, you'll have to layer it on. So this is like a light makeup day, maybe. I'll use this. Concealer. I love the concealer. Um, I didn't crease. It didn't do any of that. I, I like it. I have no problems. When I do a no makeup makeup, I usually go for my HD e.l.f. concealer. The light and the medium, I mix it. And we're good to go with some mascara and stuff. Next. The liquid. These liquid eyeshadows. I used this one. And it did exactly what it was supposed to. It was matte. And it did brighten up a little bit of my inner eye. So I like this. I haven't played with this one yet. But I really like these. I'm going to play with these some more. Then for the mascara, the mascara and the eyeliner. Um, the eyeliner, I didn't put too much on the bottom. It's still a little bit there, um, but it's a regular black eyeliner. I didn't use the shadow side, so I'm going to try another look with that. The mascara, I really like the mascara. Um, it's a nice wand. It gave enough coverage. Lashes, gotta tell you, I am obsessed with the lashes. I love them. They make the look look beautiful. The liquid liner. I'm not fond of the liquid liner brush. It says it's a tapered brush, but if you look 
um, it's not as thin as it could be on the very end um, so it doesn't leave like that really fine defined wing or even on the inner corner so that's something that um, I'm not really fond of but I mean it's a good liquid liner I just don't like the brush tip I'll just work around that then for the face palette um, I like the highlight on here. It you know any highlight is going to emphasize texture, so it is what it is. But um, this is really good for like no makeup makeup days. So I really like this. I use it a lot. This I've got this before. So then for lip colors, um, actually no, we're gonna go to the contouring um, palette, the bronzer and the blush the blush i think is just a little bit too deep for me i would need like a lighter color so i would definitely go into the natural face palette for blush it's a pretty color or maybe i just gotta go with a lighter hand because i was in a rush this bronzer is really cool toned it i didn't pack on so much um but i really like it so i will be dipping into this again um as far as their hd loose setting powder um i want to play around with it some more it is really light fine um it did my under eyes it brightened it up a little bit um but i'm gonna play around with this some more and see from there i want to give like a true review on it um, maybe trying a different foundation or a different concealer um you guys know i absolutely love my elf lip plumper it helps to define my lip a little bit now for lip colors um, I already had this color in Scarlet Night. I really like this color on its own. Um, I don't have a problem with it. This color, because this is a Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick, and this is in Touch of Berry. Um, this is a lipstick that you'll have to retouch throughout the day. Like, when I first put it on, it was really, really nice and berry tone, and it was bright. And I didn't drink anything, I didn't eat anything, but this is definitely faded. So, um, not my favorite formula. I think I'm more of a matte girl. Um, this nearly nude um, lip crayon, mm, not my favorite color. It really emphasized the lines in my lips, the dryness, and it just was not a nice color. And then with the lip liner, it was a really good lip liner. I mean, I don't have anything bad to really say about it. It's really, really natural. I want to probably dip into some other colors so that could be a little bit more, um, give a better review. Now the lip plumping gloss. I like this. I don't know if I necessarily like this color. I want to try different colors out. And I also want to purchase their lip oil. I heard it was really good so got that now as far as their brushes their blending brush and their eyeshadow brush oh, excuse me their blending brush and their eyeshadow C brush their complexion brush their blush oh, not the blush brush sorry and then their stippling brush these are the newest ones that I've used I like these two brushes this is a little stiff, but not bad. Their complexion brush is really, really good. Um, I like it. And then this one, I have to work with a little bit more. Um, it was really, really stiff, and I did do the little contour with it, but um, not a bad brush. It's super soft, so that's that. The setting spray, aside from it being like right in my face, like when I had to like really forcefully press it, I mean, it's a setting spray. I don't think it did very much my makeup is still on everything looks flawless aside from like it's like here and then i have some foundation that settled in there but everything is pretty good that completes this video if you enjoyed watching this elf one brand makeup video then please like this and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell down below so that you can get notified every time i upload videos which is on mondays thursdays and somewhat on Saturdays if the week permits me you know mommy of five I've got to figure it out sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't and I do have another one brand video coming up which is going to be my wet and wild and then 
we'll see from there. Why don't you guys comment down below and let me know what products you want me to try out, what brands you'd like me to try out, and I will try my best to give you reviews and get you um, the opinions that I have on those products. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, you guys, and I will see you beauties in my next video. Bye.